Hey guys, my name is Sitija, and this is my channel that's going to document my journey through graduate school and on to professorship. I'm actually currently applying to grad schools right now, and back in the summer when I was prepping for the GRE, I felt like there weren't really that many specific resources on how to prep. So I want to tell you exactly what you need to do in order to score above 160 on the quantitative and verbal sections and how to write a superb essay. This is how I prepped to score 166 out of 170 on both the quantitative and verbal reasoning sections, and then five and a half out of six on the writing. I gave myself two months to prep, and I want to tell you the exact materials that I used to study. So let's get right into it. The GRE has three main sections, quantitative reasoning, verbal reasoning, and analytical writing. In other words, math, reading, and writing. First, let's talk about the math section. This section has two parts with 20 questions per part. I have four prep materials that I used with the third and fourth being the most important by far. Book number one is the Magoosh Complete Guide to the GRE 2014 edition. This prep, prep book is only 84 pages total and it's very digestible in my opinion. It gives a great overview of the exam and it's broken up into the obvious three main sections of the GRE and then by question type. So for example, the quantitative section is like multiple choice, multiple answer questions, numeric entry, and quantitative comparison. You should definitely familiarize yourself with those four types of uh, questions that they can ask in that quantitative portion. And since the Magoosh Complete Guide to the GRE is pretty sparse, um, I would recommend getting through all of these practice questions, uh, which are very much like the ones on the actual GRE. The pros to this book are that the questions are very realistic and the material is pretty digestible. But the con is that there's not all that much material, so you'll want to pair it with another book. Okay, and second is the legendary five pound book of GRE practice problems by Manhattan Prep. Uh, when searching Reddit threads for which prep books to use for the quantitative section, this one came up in a lot of them, and I can see why. It has literally over 1,800 practice problems, and it's 1,200 pages long. I would recommend using this book as kind of like a problem bank to pull random problems from, uh, and it's a great resource, but I would I definitely use the following two prep books the most. The third book that I highly recommend to study for the quantitative section of the GRE is the Manhattan Prep GRE Math Strategies. It's organized into the following seven units, algebra, fractions, decimals, and percents, geometry, number properties, word problems, quantitative comparisons, and data interpretation. So it covers pretty much everything that you can possibly see on the exam. And each section has like six subsections. And one of the most important things that I want to emphasize in this video is to work the problems in this book. This book is one of the most helpful quantitative prep tools out there. And the problems are very similar to the ones I saw in the actual GRE quantitative section. And it's not just problems. Each subsection has these check your skills points where it has like five problems to make sure that you're following along and understanding as you're reading. And then a problem set at the end of each subsection. Overall, I highly recommend this book. Um, I grinded through every section of it, and in my opinion, it definitely paid off. Finally, for the quantitative section, uh, the most important prep material is the official GRE quantitative reasoning practice questions. So I'm going to say this at the end of the video as well, but the actual ETS study guides are definitely the best materials out there. It's kind of like how College Board makes the SAT and AP exams, but then also makes the official study guides for them, which is a little bit weird. But anyway, the ETS study guides are the best materials by far to prep for the GRE. This book in, uh, in particular has 150 real quantitative reasoning questions with solutions and explanations and hints. And obviously these are the real GRE questions. I actually saved these for the end of my studying so that I could spend that last part doing problems that are exactly like the ones that I was gonna see in the near future. Uh, you've gotta do these problems because they're the best form of practice. If you do all of these things, you should do great on the exam. And I know it's a lot, but if you're really grinding to get into that grad school, uh, business program, whatever, it definitely will pay off for the quantitative section. Okay, so verbal reasoning is a little bit different than quantitative in the sense that some prep materials are way off of what the actual test is like. So you don't wanna waste your time with those. Luckily, I'm here to let you know which materials you should go through and also a big hidden gem that I feel like not enough people talk about with regards to the verbal section. 
Again, my first recommendation is to go through that 84 page Magoosh Complete Guide to the GRE. It's not super dense and you can use it to get familiar with the types of questions asked on the GRE verbal section. I think really uh, for this section specifically, it helps to know what type of questions they're going to ask. And there are only three, reading comprehension, um, the text completion questions, and sentence equivalents. And I think Magoosh is a great first step into getting to know all three types of questions. And of course, nothing is going to beat doing the actual ETS practice problems. Just like I recommended for quantitative, you definitely should do all of the problems in the official GRE verbal reasoning practice questions book. These questions are exactly like the ones you're going to see on exam day, and with reading even more so than math, just knowing what the questions will be like is a huge leg up. You spend a lot less energy processing what the question is asking you, and this book has 150 verbal reasoning questions with full solutions and explanations. I highly recommend doing these towards the end of your prep so that you know exactly what this section is going to be like on test day. The verbal reasoning portion is where I think the five pound book of GRE practice problems that I mentioned before really shines. This prep book has the three types of questions, text completion, sentence equivalence, and reading comprehension, all in three separate chapters so that you can get a lot of practice grinding out each of them. In my opinion, the vocab in this book is pretty intense, but it's one of the best resources for prepping for the GRE verbal section. So definitely give it a look. If you get through the problems for the verbal section in this book, you really should be solid. And speaking of tough vocab, the biggest tip that I feel like not enough people talk about are these two quizlets from Manhattan Prep that contain almost every single GRE vocab word. Those guys over at Manhattan Prep did a great job in compiling this list, and there are two separate lists for normal and advanced vocab words, but it's probably just more convenient to use the full quizlet, which I put a link to down in the description. I remember walking out of the GRE thinking, oh shoot, there were a lot of vocab words from that exact Quizlet. So you should definitely study those words. Another thing that I did was whenever I uh, came across a word that I didn't know, like especially in the ETS GRE prep, I added it to this Google Doc uh, online one by one. So then I had this huge list of words and their definitions. So for vocab, that's what I would recommend. Uh, getting through that 1,000 word Quizlet by Manhattan Prep and writing down the words that you come across that you don't know so that you can come back to them later, if that makes sense. Now, writing is probably the most overlooked section of the GRE. Honestly, when I was taking it, I was just trying to get through it and maintain focus so that I could do well in the quantitative section. Overall, I would say to not concentrate on this portion too much, but these are my recommendations for how to prep. There are two essays to write for this section the Analyze an Issue essay and Analyze an Argument essay. What I'm about to talk about applies to both of them. So firstly, there's an ETS website that has the entire pool of possible prompts that they could ask you. So your prompt on test day is going to come from that website. I've linked uh, both of them down in the description below. Secondly, this is how I organized my essays to get a five and a half out of six on this section. I started with an introduction that kind of introduces whatever is being talked about, and at the end of it, I stated my thesis. In the analysis, I gave three specific reasons why I disagreed or agreed or what I thought the argument did well. Basically, just three main points that I wanted to talk about later in the essay. And then I used the final paragraph to conclude and reiterate my thesis. So all in all, I used a five paragraph system with an intro, conclusion, and then three main body paragraphs. And make sure you don't have too many uh, grammatical errors. The essay is like half graded by a bot, so honestly, I don't even know like exactly what the grading system is for the software, but whatever the software they use, it can probably detect grammatical errors and spelling mistakes. Um, so just make sure your grammar is uh, solid. As I said, the prompts are available online and really the best thing you can do is take like two or three prompts and write them out um, on a Google Doc. Just fully write them out a couple times before, before the actual exam. I think with the writing ex section especially, just being familiar with the writing essays themselves uh, will help you not freak out about it when it's the beginning of the GRE and you're staring at the computer screen. Finally, I want to leave you with a bunch of practice exams that I actually used myself, linked down below. The best way to practice is to actually just do practice questions and the exams in the description help with just that. I wish you the best of luck uh, for your own exam and college endeavors. And if you found something useful in this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, I'm trying to build a channel that helps people like you and me get through college and also document my own journey in the process.
Also, if you post a comment, I will respond to you. My name is Sitija Monage, and I'll see you next time.